guys, it's Lauren with the Eastern Iowa Arts Academy again, and I'm back with a brand new project. Um, and today's project uses something I believe everyone should have in their life, and that's a nice cup of coffee. <laughs> um, today I'm going to be showing everyone how to do a uh, lunar style painting um, using coffee. And a lot of these techniques that I'm going to be showing um, translate directly from watercolor. Um, but in this case, we're going to use some nice ground coffee beans. <laughs> um, and in addition to these looking pretty cool, they also smell really nice. So anyhow, let's get started. So first thing we're going to need is a piece of paper. And this could be plain printer paper um, if you have something heavier like cardstock or maybe if you have watercolor paper around, that's fantastic. The next thing you're going to want to do is make sure you tape your paper down on all sides. And I'm just using plain masking tape here. What this does is it keeps the paper from warping on you. You know when you use watercolor, sometimes and the paper will get all kind of like crinkly and warpy. This will prevent that. Uh, next step is I'm going to take some sort of circular object so I can trace a circle. Um, and this will be where our moon is on my paper. And I'm tracing this using a brown colored pencil since the coffee is going to be a nice kind of brown sepia tone color. And so then I grab my coffee and depending on the strength that you've brewed, um, it'll be darker or lighter so you can kind of play with that. As far as the brushes go, try to find a softer brush. Um, a watercolor brush is preferable. If you use a um, synthetic acrylic brush, uh, you're going to get harder lines, and that's not really the look we're going for with this moon. So I'm going to go ahead and paint in the background here and then um, use a hair dryer to dry off this first layer. This um, painting really, it's, um, it's going to be layer on layer on layer, and that's how we're going to get kind of a rich finished image. And going into our second layer here, I'm going to start to add a little bit of shape to the moon. And when painting the moon, I'm thinking about where my light source is. Uh, so in this case, my light source is going to be the upper left hand corner, which means everything that's facing the lower right hand corner is going to be a little bit darker. So I'm painting the right side of my moon a little darker, adding in a few places where craters could be, um, you know, some little dots here and there. As I add um, kind of wash on wash to the background here, uh, I'm going to start to think about where I'm using the hair dryer. Uh, the hair dryer can be a useful tool in that it'll push the coffee around a little bit and create a little bit more um, spontaneity and randomness to the painting. And this next cool trick is going to use some instant coffee crystals. Uh, and this creates a really cool effect. So I'm just going to take some of the crystals and sprinkle it around where the painting is wet. And it's going to cause the, um, the grounds to bloom a little bit and create like these cute little flecks. Uh, this is similar to if you had ever used salt on a watercolor painting, how it creates kind of these little white dots, um, but in this case it's going to create kind of these little brown flecks to add some texture. And now I'm going to start using my smaller brush here, and I'm going to focus on bringing out um, where all the craters are on my moon, and just thinking of where all the dark, dark shadows would be. And that's where I'm going to be using the small brush. As I'm kneading a darker and darker brown, what I can do is I can use some of the instant coffee grounds and mix it with just a little bit of water. Um, and this will create an even darker tone. So I'm just going around that bottom right hand side of the moon to pop it out a little bit. And going around kind of thinking about maybe where the wispy clouds would be during the night. Um, putting in a few splatters here and there. Really, you can make this your own. And after this next layer is dry, I'm going to add another layer, uh, continuing to uh, emphasize where it would be darker and where it would be lighter. And now I'm starting to follow where the coffee has naturally created a line and just going back over that again to make it darker. And then I'm going to take out some brown color pencils here. And I'm going to use these to add in some more detail and to darken up that bottom right hand side a little bit more. Um, 
thinking about where all the nooks and crannies on the face of the moon would be. Um, and these colors I'm using, it's kind of just a, you know, a brown brown, I guess, and then a goldenrod color. Um, the goldenrod color really helps to match the coffee tone, and that dark brown will um, really punch things out. So as you can see, um, this is looking pretty good. Uh, if you want to go back in with some white paint, you can do that too um, and add in some highlights. But I kind of like the, the mottled old look this has in the end. So after it's totally dry, you can go ahead and remove your masking tape and hang it up. This is such a fun project to do. Uh, I've done a bunch in different mediums too. I've done some ink ones, I've used watercolor. I think next I'm going to try using some berry tea. I hope that lends kind of a nice reddish color to them. But anyhow, uh, give it a try guys and share it with us on our Facebook page. <laughs> All right, have a good day guys. Bye-bye.